Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited for this video because you guys know skincare is one of my favorite things in the whole wide world. And another thing that's my favorite thing in the whole wide world is Korean skincare. So, so I found this website called stylekorean.com um, and the reason this is more exciting, this isn't sponsored by the way, just so you know, I haven't received any money to do this video. The reason I love this so much is because the prices are affordable. And of course, I always go on about Korean skincare in my videos and you guys mentioned that shipping's a little bit much and these products are a little bit steep, but I would compare the prices of the products from this particular website um, to ones you'll find on the high street. And then shipping is based on the weight of your product naturally. But I went a little bit crazy, so today I'm gonna be showing you my my, uh, but today I'm going to be showing you my new skincare haul, my stylekorean.com Korean skincare haul. <laughs> Working title, I'll think of the title when I'm ready. So we're going to start off with cleansers. Um, I like trying out different cleansers. I feel like I found the products that really work for me, like the style of products that really work for me. You guys know I'm obsessed with clay and mud cutting cleansers. So I showed you this product before and I just kind of wanted to reiterate how good it was, like how really, really good it is. This has been in quite a few of my videos, like nearly every skincare video, but this is the Nature Republic. I got quite a few bits from Nature Republic. Jiju Sparkling Mud Foam Cleanser. And what I love about this is the smell. It's kind of like, Oh, bitch. It's kind of tea tree, aloe vera kind of esque. Um, but this basically has m like volcanic mud in, which is great for drawing out impurities, especially around like the nose area where you have all these blackheads. It's just kind of making your skin look a lot fresher and a lot tighter, really minimizing the appearance of those pores. I really recommend this. Um, it's dead cheap as well. How much was this? Can't remember, but the price will be here. Really affordable. Next up for the cleansers, we have, again, by Nature Republic, we have the Snail Solution Foam Cleanser. If you are a regular on the beauty YouTube scene and you watch a lot of beauty vloggers and skincare kind of videos, then you'll know Snail Solution is all the trend at the moment. It's kind of only just been discovered here in like the Western world. But snail kind of mucus, if you will, snail secretion, <laughs> makes it sound really horrible, is amazing at kind of removing dirt, minimizing the appearance of pores without over drying your skin. And yes, it is a foaming cleanser, which for me, I sometimes think that's gonna be really drying. But the snail solution in particular is quite hydrating. But snail solution in general is not hydrating, but it's not gonna over dry your skin, which is great if you have dry skin and oily skin. So yeah, the Snail Solution is a really great all-rounder. Next up, I haven't opened this, so I'm gonna open this with you guys now. This is by a brand called April Skin, and I kind of bought this purely for the look and color of the soap. And this is 100% natural cleansing, 100% natural cleansing magic stone. Okay, so this one in particular is very, very good for spots and blackheads. So let's open it. Um, you can smell it from outside the packaging as well. It's, um, it's got the smell of like a Dove soap, and I know soap can usually be very kind of um, drying on the skin. So it will be interesting to see how this works. But like I said, oh, maybe that's a bit loud. But like I said, I kind of just bought it for the look of it. Oh wow. Oh, it's cool. It's really cool. So yeah, it does smell really soapy, but it actually reminds me of Coalface from Lush, which is what I tell you guys I used to use all the time. This was actually cheaper, <laughs> I must admit. So yeah, I'm guessing because it says it's like spots and blackheads, I'm guessing there's charcoal in there somewhere. Charcoal natural soap. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I might try this out for a week and let you guys know on Snapchat um, what I think about this and how it's going. But yeah, smells good. And April Skin is a brand I've been wanting to try for ages and ages. So yeah, it'll be cool to see if I actually genuinely like their products. What else do we have? <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, I bought some um, cleansing wipes. Um, I've mentioned this before. Cleansing wipes is a really last, last alternative for when you've stumbled in drunk and you can't cleanse your face or if you finished a really long shift at work or you're just being lazy. Cleansing wipes are good for just removing that top layer of dirt and kind of, you know, 
removing makeup if you wear makeup as well. Um, I got the ones from the Face Shop. Again, Face Shop is one of my favorite brands. Like I mentioned before, a lot of Korean brands are my favorite brands. And this one is rice water. Now, I love rice water in skincare, moisturizers, and especially face masks as they're really kind of brightening. They really brighten your skin. So after a long day of work, this is nice to kind of like tone down that redness, that kind of like puffiness that your skin has got throughout the day. Um, just kind of make your skin look a little bit newer and a little bit dewy and a little bit more awake. So I do actually carry these around with me and when I'm feeling a little bit greasy and a little bit oily, I'll just whack one of these out and kind of cleanse with it. So yeah, there's 50 in there and I believe it was like, how much was this? Oh, this was like $5, so hardly anything for a pack of face wipes. Yeah, which is really, really decent. I've seen these on other websites for nearly double the price, so I was really kind of happy when I found these ones. So next up, we have an exfoliator, and this is by a brand called Innisfree, and this is Innisfree's Jiju Volcanic Pore Scrub Foam. I've been looking for a good exfoliator for a really long time. Um, if you watch my monthly favorites and fails, I had an Innisfree exfoliator was actually a fail. It was like a red wine one and it made me feel sick because it reminded me of being really drunk. But this one is amazing. It's very soft, it's very delicate. And this has volcanic clusters in it, which sounds pretty cool. Um, so they're natural as well, so it's good for the environment. And it really does gently scrub away all those like dead skin cells that will be clogging up your pores and leading to blackheads, spots, etc., etc. What I like about this is it's very, very fine. So it really does feel like you're getting a good exfoliation, but then a good buff as well of your skin. So yeah, this is really, really good. This is a bit of a cult item, and that is Skin Foods Black Sugar Mask Wash Off. Now, apart from using the font comic book sans, um, this is an amazing product, apparently. I'm yet to open it, and I think this is another one that I'm gonna show you guys on Snapchat. This is very, very good for basically just rejuvenating your skin. So leaving it smooth and glowing, and overall just a lot clearer and brighter. So you put this on like a mask, and then once it's done, you can like scrub it off. So it's like a two-in-one mask exfoliator kind of miracle thing. Um, I'm a huge fan of skin food as well. I got one of their SPS, which is really, really good. So yeah, if you wanna see how I get on with this, you can again follow me on snapchat and I'll let you know everything on there. What else do I have? This is really exciting I was gonna do an unboxing for you guys, but the moment it arrived I opened it all and opened quite a few products. The delivery was like It took maybe five days to come. I thought it was gonna be like two weeks I was not expecting it to come that soon at all. Um, next up we have another Innisfree product and again another cult favorite This is a really affordable product that literally performs miracles apparently like this is meant to be really really good so this product is the Innisfree Jiju Volcanic Pore Clay Mask um, again volcanic clay all that kind of stuff if you have oily skin really really good for you I received a trial size version of this um, with an order from a different website and I loved it like this stuff is so so good I've never used a clay mask that has actually made my face look poreless and black headless, especially around the nose area. But this stuff is amazing. This has a massive cult following within the beauty community because it's one of those products that just does exactly what it says it does, if that makes sense. What's next? While we're on it, let's carry on with the whole cleansing and mask kind of situation. This is a product that when I saw it, it made me gag a little bit. Then I thought about it and researched into it. I thought this could actually be a really interesting product. And these are blackhead silk finger balls. These are literally like silkworm cocoons, I think. They're cocoons of some kind of animal, but as they're silk, I think they're silkworms, I presume. They've obviously been like, they've obviously been cleaned and sterilized and all that kind of stuff. But I've seen amazing things. Should we open them? Let's open them. I've seen amazing things about these products online and people really like them. Um, so it comes in another pack. Um, apparently they're just really, really good at buffing that area around the nose, getting rid of all those blackheads and dead skin. Um, again, that leads to further blackheads. And I kind of just like the novelty, the idea of it as well. It's kind of a little bit weird. Why am I smelling it? They don't smell like anything. Ah, I feel a bit funny touching them. But you can see like all the little foamy silk coming off it. So yeah, I guess it just goes on like that and then you buff very gently around the nose area, maybe around the forehead and this little bit here where you can tend to get spots and blackheads and little white heads. So yeah, I'm really excited about trying them. Again, guys, follow me on Snapchat. I'll do like a routine um, with all the products that I've showed you here today and let you know how I'm getting on with the ones that I've never tried before. So you guys know I love my face mask. I've talked about my favorite face mask before on this channel. So I had to order this. These are by a brand called Ferencos, I think you pronounce it. And it's literally seven masks, one for every day of the week. Can you see that? 
So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, in case you didn't know your days of the week. But yeah, they all do different things. So for example, Monday is all about nutrition and putting that nutrition in your skin. Tuesday is all about a detox, kind of silky mask there. And then Sunday is a pearl, is a black pearl brightening silk mask. And hopefully by the end of it, I'm gonna look like this guy here and have incredibly smooth, partly photoshopped skin. Guys, I am not exaggerating when I say that these are one of the best things I've ever used in my whole life. Now, these are the Clinical Skincare Acne Pimple Master Patch by a brand that I cannot pronounce. Corkstrux, Corx. How would you? How would you say that? This basically says acne pimple master patch heals acne blemishes and prevents future breakouts quickly. These, these are incredible. These are little sticky patches that you put on your spots. I like to put them on overnight and your spot will be gone in the morning. I had two little spots up here, red, ready to pop. I put on two little spot patches overnight and they were gone in the morning, no redness, no scarring whatsoever. So yeah, when I get a bit more money, I'm gonna be stocking up on these because these are incredible. Um, how much were these? These were £2.75, $2.75, $2 sorry, um, which is so cheap for what they do. I've tried products from Benefit, I've tried ones from Lush, I've tried products from Kiehl's, spent about 30 quid on an overnight spot treatment. That did nothing, absolutely nothing. These are £2.75 and they did everything. <laughs> they were so, so good. I promise, like, I'm not even exaggerating. I will have to do a before and after picture of these sometime. Oh, next up, I've used these before. These are um, by a brand called Tony Molly. Again, one of my favorite brands. And these are the nose pack package. Um, egg pores, they're um, nose strips. They contain egg whites, which are known for kind of really delving into your pores and pulling out very gently all that sebum and blackheads as well. Um, yeah, you guys know what a nose pore strip is, like, yeah, it's them. Um, but these just have to be my favorite brand. Again, really, really affordable. Um, I've come across these in boots, not this brand, but products like this, and they cost like almost eight pounds. I'm like, I'm not paying that. These were three dollars twenty-seven, um, which is again really, really good, really, really decent, and one of the best pore strips I've used. Ah, so next up we have a toner. This is by Nature Republic again. Um, you guys know I'm all about green tea when it comes to my skincare, which is very, very good for spot prone and oily skin as it's kind of a natural antibacterial agent um, and is very, very good at refreshing the skin, evening out your skin tone again and just kind of refreshing your face overall. What I love about Korean toners in general is you can see it's kind of like liquidy, but compared to our astringents or astringents that we have here in the UK and America as well, they're a lot less alcohol based, so they're not drying out. They're a lot thicker as well, so you feel like they've got that bit more of natural ingredients in there. And they last a, a lot longer because of the thickness and the almost sliminess of them, you find that a little bit goes a long way. So like any other toner, I apply this after cleansing onto a cotton pad, just gently wipe that all over my face. So one of my most viewed videos, I think is 10 ways to use aloe vera gel by the brand Nature Republic. I got a, so when I, oh, what's happening here? So when I saw this product, I think it must be new because I've never seen it before, I had to buy it. And this is the Nature Public 92% Aloe Vera Soothing and Moisturizer Smoothing Gel Mist. So this is just literally a gel mist. There's a mist version of the gel that I love and <coughs> try. <laughs> really dry. So yeah, when my skin's feeling a little bit dry, I just spritz this over, it's incredibly light, and all you have to do is pat it in your face a tiny little bit, and it's instantly kind of moisturizing. This is great for your arms as well, when your arms are feeling like a little bit rough, a little bit ashy. Just spritz this over and just rub it in. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. Really good kind of like handy size as well. So you pop this in your bag and carry it with you everywhere. Next up I have again by Nature Republic is the Real Squeeze Aloe Vera Essence. Now essences really help rehydrate and moisturize the skin. And so I've got the same Real Squeeze Aloe Vera from Nature Republic, but this is the Emulsion. So an Emulsion is like a much lighter moisturizer that you can put on once you've been layering your products at night. So the Essence with the emulsion, team together, kind of just give my skin that little bit of extra life and nutrients that it kind of needs. And then we have a serum. This is by Innisfree and this is the Green Tea Seed Serum. Again, this has a massive cult following in the skincare world because it's incredible. Um, basically, serums kind of contain 
It's like a vitamin tablet for your skin, I think I've said that before, but it contains those sort of nutrients that your skin might be missing. We're nearly there guys, we are almost there. Again, I've got another essence, but this one's a little bit more interesting. This is the first intensive treatment ample essence. So this one in particular is aimed at kind of like aging. Because I'm like in my 20s now, so I've got to start using aging products. Um, but this is an essence that you kind of use, use alongside your toner um, and you put that over your skin. And these have really, really concentrated ingredients. So this one here has Fermentox, 95.3%. So that's a patented ingredient for this brand that helps refirm your skin, smooth, smooth out fine lines and wrinkles, and makes your skin look a lot clearer and brighter as well. So um, I'm interested in trying this. It's in a glass bottle, so I'm kind of also terrified that I'm gonna somehow break it. Penultimate product now is a new moisturizer. This is Innisfree, again, a green tea product. This is the balancing cream. I had a sample size of this, um, again, from another brand that I um, ordered from from another website, sorry, that I ordered from, and it was amazing. I'm using this again because I'm getting quite red patches in the nose area here, on my forehead, and around the cheek area, that I really just wanna get rid of. Um, they don't look great, and my skin looks a little bit darker and lighter in areas, so something like this is very, very good at balancing out uh, first of all, the look of your skin. Also the oiliness of your skin as well. This is a little bit thick, so I'll use this in the evening before I go to bed as my final product on my face. Um, and it will just really put that hydration back into my skin, even out my skin tone, and help with sebum control as well. It says it's for normal to combination skin, but I find with oily skin, if you're using thicker, oilier products in the evening, your skin kind of compensates for that and doesn't produce so much oil during the day. And finally, one of my favorite products that if you follow me on Snapchat, you've already already seen. This is the, I can't, I don't know what that brand says, gold eye patches. Now, these come in, little thing like that, they're called premium gold eye patches and you get this little spatula. You open it up and you have all these little, very thin eye patches in an essence kind of layered up on top of each other. So you just take one out with one of these and apply it under your eyes um, and you leave it there it says for about 15 minutes, but I find if you leave it on for about half an hour to 40 minutes, your under eyes look like tight and nice and a lot lighter and a lot brighter as well. Um, these are the only eye patches I've ever used that actually make my under eyes look lighter. Um, I've got quite bad dark circles at the moment, and these do help during the day lighten up that area. Um, they're gold, the novelty of it's really, really cool. Um, but like I said, they just actually genuinely really, really work. So that was it. That's everything I bought. I think that's the first kind of skincare haul I've done on my channel, I think. But yeah, let me know if you wanna try out any of these products. I'll link down below um, where I got them all from. Like I said, as far as buying Asian products go, this is one of the cheaper websites out there, if not the cheapest website out there. Follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and like I kept saying, follow me on Snapchat if you wanna see how I'm getting on with these products too. Yeah, I'm kind of really looking forward to using quite a few of those, the Essence, um, and I'm just gonna stress it again, if you have spots, get these, cause they're the shit. they're really, really good. But yeah, that's it for now, guys. I will see you next time.